How do internet and welcome back to another episode of GeoSketcher. Today we're going to jump straight in and we're going to be playing within the Peak District this time. We're going to try and focus down, we're going to go for just a single town and we're going to explore that place, make some drawings real quick and uh, have a good time along the way. Gonna roll the dice to see what time we've got. The town we're going to be exploring is Buxton, a beautiful historic town. Uh, not too far from where I live and somewhere that me and the family frequent. We're on a three minute timer. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to have an invite link down below. So that means that if you want to play along and join in the fun, grab some art supplies or just guess the locations and see if you can do better than me, um, you're more than welcome to join along. The link will be down in the description below. Um, if you want to join along for more fun, you know where the subscribe button is. I'm not going to keep telling you about that. So we're going to jump in and we're going to start the game. We have three minutes around to both guess and locate ourselves. So this is using a little bit of my own knowledge. But the problem is, is obviously with all these places that you can get stuck in a housing estate. And that is problematic because I don't know Buxton that intimately. Um, right then, let's have a guess of where we are. I reckon we're somewhere up in this area. So I'm going to pop it down there and we're going to start drawing. What will we draw today? We've got 2 minutes 20 left. I quite like the look of this building at the end here. Not sure what the building is. It looks like some sort of old church perhaps. But we'll just start getting an semblance of its feel. Uh, we'll use a little bit of in, a little bit of a possibly a bit of artistic license. Maybe no, maybe we do put in everything we can see. I was wondering about just having the building uh, with the limited time we've got, trying to get everything in, can be difficult. So starting off straight away, we've got our perspective lines on this little garage. Might be all we've got time to uh, get in for this drawing. This uh, this kind of vaulted window here at the front of this back of this building. It's a beautiful um, frontage, backage, whatever you want to call it. Can't quite see the rest of the building. I was hoping that we'd get put in a nice historic central part of uh, central part of Buxton. You can set up your own maps on this, so if uh, Anyone out there wants to make one for their hometown or an interesting place, you can actually select individualized locations or you can select an area and it'll create a game within that area. It's something that I'm probably going to do in the near future. Um, feel free to go ahead and make something that you think would be worthy of drawing a few times or some way that you want to see explored. Maybe include some information about the different locations so I can... Tell the story of them as we go along. Could be interesting to uh, interesting project to undertake that. Um, if you if you if you'd be interested in watching a kind of more historical take on geo sketching, let me know. Maybe I can research places or take you to places I already know a lot about and uh, talk you through what is there. We've got 14 seconds remaining. This is we've captured it building coming down here so we're just going to leave it at that not quite sure what sort of a setup we have going on here really so we were in that sort of south side of Buxton um, just up on one of the estates must have been the Trinity Church that we could see so let's move on that's our first little sketch I'm not going to I resist the urge to carry on drawing. I was enjoying that little sketch, and we're going to move on. Another three minutes. Right, this is this is a bit more like it. Central Buxton, the Opera House. Oh God, there's a lot of detail in these things to draw in three minutes. But I know where we are. So this is Buxton Opera House. It's a very nice uh, theatre. Uh, lots of nice shows go on there during normal times. Not at the moment. I don't think there are. Uh, trading quite as much as uh, as they'd like to be at the moment but we're going to try 
in all our earnest. We'll turn this upside down. And we'll try and capture Bookstore Oxford House in under two minutes. So we've got this coming down here. So it's going to be a very, very sort of sketched out undertaking. Um, but maybe it's possible. Maybe as, as, I, as I practice, maybe I'm getting quicker and quicker at these drawings. That's not necessarily about speed that I want to build up. It's, it's, it's about being able to catch a form and know where it is. It's how I normally sketch if I'm on site. Is it's, it's, it's very much a memory sketch of the feeling that I'm having at the time. Because that's what I normally want to capture. It's kind of that, that sort of ambiance, shall we say. Um, this is coming down here. And then we've got the Buxton Opera House sign at the front. Uh, this is coming off a awning of some kind, so we can put that in. We've got this beautiful... And these are sort of things that you wouldn't normally... Well, perhaps you would if you were drawing there. If you were, if you were on site drawing, you'd perhaps pay a little bit of attention. But walking past, to all these little features, this little balcony up here is fascinating. I wonder what the... Wonder what that was used for? Was it was it uh, before shows? Do they do they have the main the main uh, hawker or actor come out and address the crowd, you know, drill up some excitement? Is it just an advertisement point where they can shout from, or is it simply just a an office at the top? That's the thing. It's. Uh, Things were used differently in the past sometimes. You get surprised of uh, how how things were done. I can imagine there being a little person up here screaming, come and look at my show. No, we didn't put them in. We put a little person in just saying, hey, come look at my come look at my show. Realising that you're perhaps a little bit out of focus. Uh, on that video. No, it looks like it's in focus. That's our drawing finished. It took a little bit of time to uh, put in them steps because I did mess around with the focus on the camera for a second there. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll title that by putting it in Buxton Opera House. We'll just, it doesn't matter that it's not in the middle. That'll only infuriate me for a little while. Uh, I think technically this line shouldn't have been here. There was lots of detail that we could have got in. There was a whole other bit of the building there. Maybe we come back to Buxton and explore it again in a future episode. But that was uh, quite happy with that, um, how that turned out. I'm just going to adjust uh, very quickly the contrast for you guys out there. If it'll let me know it will. It seems like it's just a little bit bright. There we go. We'll click it down one, and that makes it a little bit nicer for everyone joining us watching along from home. Right, stop drawing. I mean, our time's over. These are just warming up. Geosketching, it really is a great way. If you're creative, drawing, making anything in any way, it's a great way of warming up. Four yards away. I knew exactly where I was there. The lovely gardens down from there that you can, uh, if you're ever in Buxton, I would highly, highly recommend exploring. But more importantly, uh, where is it on the map? If you're in Buxton any time, and you're passing, and you want a really nice afternoon tea, there's a, on, on, the main, on the main drag, there is a place called the Edwardian Tea Rooms. Beautiful afternoon teas. One of our pilgrimages to Buxton. Often most times, is for the afternoon tea. And the lovely shops, historic buildings, and a walk in the park too. Right, so this is uh, the road coming into Buxton from, I believe it's from the north. The way it kind of sways around, I, I feel like I've driven this road many a time. Um, and it's not the main road, it's this one. The one that comes up and over, up and over into the Goit Valley. Lovely walking areas. 
up that way and I think we're, we might be about here um, so we're gonna we're gonna pop that down there and we're gonna try and find something to make a little drawing of do we try and make a drawing of uh, well, you see there's not this is the issue when you, you you've only got two minutes left not a lot of time really two minutes I'd like to do a little scene let's see let's see how how, how we can I mean I'm choosing to uh, block it in so the road's coming around this way. The road's coming at us. Choosing to block it in and kind of close myself in a little bit, but you know, we're just capturing this moment. We've got a little house here. Got some sort of building onto the side of it. Something on the front as well. On this front section we've got some windows. On this top section we've got some windows too. Little window in the middle, big window on the edge. So we're just sort of getting that little the little scene that we can see. This is all trees. Uh, we've got a building coming up here. We can't see the front off, so we can just see the side of it. We can just see a hint that it comes down the other side. Um, and we can looks like we can see some bay windows coming out the front. And um, we've got. A little recess bit here and then a wall coming across. A stone wall. And we'll just indicate that that's there. And there we go. We've got ourselves a little scene that if I'm quick enough, 34 seconds to go, we can just very quickly indi indicate to ourselves we've got trees back here. This is all greenery. This is all pretty green here. So we've got the road coming down this and we're just popping in a little bit of color so all that does is it just refreshes your memory as to what you were seeing at the time you drew it and a little bit here i'll put a guess down you can see out the corner of my eyes that we've uh, we've ended the round how do we do on our guess we've got a little scene there just peeking through, coming into Buxton, or leaving Buxton, depending on which way you're going on the road, of course. And it came out not too bad. I maybe would have brought this road down a little bit, like that, just to emphasise that curve. Had a bit more time, but uh, we didn't. We didn't have more time. That was that was all we had. And we're on to fairly good points, 600 yards away. So we were a bit further up than I thought. Um, but that's not the bad thing. We're here to draw. We're not here to win records. We're not Geo Wizard out there winning top of leaderboards and being a professional Geo Guesser player. We're just having a bit of fun, a bit of creative fun. This is the same road again. Seems to have dropped me a lot onto this road. Uh, but this is more up. We've got a big house up here. I'm trying to remember whereabouts this is. I think it might be further up. Not too far. Probably this, this corner here. We've we got a road going off. No, we don't. It's a bit further up than that. Maybe we're here. That, that looks like a fancy house there with a big driveway. So that'll do us. And we're going to make a drawing. Again, we're, we're kind of limited for what we could draw. Do we just draw a road sign? Something I wouldn't jump out and draw on a on a regular basis. It wouldn't be a, a go-to item to draw, but uh, it's an interesting shape. You've got another one coming this way, so we can see that that's coming there with the post at the back. So I quite often, often quite like drawing ob ob obscure things like this. Uh, if you've seen previous episodes, you'll have seen panicked drawing of a cone when I uh, accidentally hit the wrong timer uh, or forgot to hit record rather um, and I had to very quickly panic draw a cone. But it's it, it, it was a nice little drawing still. I was, I was happy with it. You've got to learn to draw 
everything when you when you're trying to be an artist when you learning things because if you're drawing a scene and you need to put a cone in it you need to surprise surprise know how to draw a cone it's, it's not rocket surgery uh, it's just a game of practice the more you practice these things the more you practice drawing the little things the more realistic your scenes can become and we can see there we've got slightly off that's actually a bit further apart than that, but we'll, we'll forgive ourselves for that. And we're going to colour in this back area. I was hoping to take you around some nice historic places around Buxton that I could tell you little stories about, talk to you about. But uh, so far we've had, this is a road, this is a road, the housing estate, and uh, we've had the Buxton Opera House, so we can't complain too much. Beautiful, beautiful place, Buxton. If anyone's ever been, where's your favourite place in Buxton? Where, what do you when you, when you know if you frequent? Where do you head to when you uh, go into into it? What's the what's your poison of choice? Are you going for the, uh, the springs and the and the spas, or are you going for shopping? Are you going for the museum? The museum's great. It's got some. Uh, Fantastic exhibitions in there. Quite often the art galleries around as well. Lots of things to do. And there we go. We've got ourselves. I'll tell you what. I'll take 12 yards. I, I knew I was on this road, but... I could have been on any of these curves. Could have been on any of those curves. So the final round. We're in Buxton. This is another road entering Buxton. Um, it's a shame we're not a little bit further down with this roundabout. There's a lovely uh, viaduct, but we're not. We're uh, near the Wybridge House. There's a, now a fantastic artisan market on, in, in, in the underhalls of one of these uh, buildings on this side. But without further ado, we better jump in and make a guess. So uh, we're coming down here. We're just back to the bridge here on the Y. And we need to find something to draw. Do we draw something obscure again? Do we draw a bin? Do we draw a car? Do we draw some people? I don't know. I don't know what to draw. I'm lost. Um, what, two minutes? Can I get a whole pub in, in two minutes? A bit too much, a bit too... Maybe we go for a lamppost. We've got a long... We've got a little long elongated section here, so we could... So we can see that we've got some kind of... Pointed top to it to turn rounded and then we've got a four sided shape coming down this is very much up my sort of enjoyment level of drawing working out how things are made piecing it together so we've got the paint coming down this way obviously going to have a bulbin of some kind it's not going to be It's not going to be gas powered anymore, but they will have been at one point, unless this is purely a decorative one that was uh, added later, of course. We've got these curved bits that are coming to a central pole, and we can kind of, we can kind of see. So they must be coming all the way around. There must be, mustn't be one on each corner. They must just be all the way around, which is quite nice. So we can put some of them in, and then we can start indicating this pole coming down. So this is going to be one that if I've got, I've got 44 seconds remaining. Can we get, where's my pen? If I was a bit more prepared, it would have uh, been easier. But can we get, if we're really quick, some fine liner on it? Can we get old trusty, water soluble, of course. But this could be a very nice little painting of the top end of a lamppost. There we go. And then we've got eight seconds remaining. Oh, crikey. Okay, so do that. Oh, that was a bit rushed. It's pulled on. 
these bits coming round. This bit on top. And what I really want to do is clean my brush off down here. May as well clean the brush off and use it just to add a bit of interest to that bottom bit. And if we just grab this little little bit of yellow, we can have an illuminated lamppost. Just that. I know it wasn't in the. Uh, I know it wasn't illuminated in our initial study point, but I think it just adds a little bit to it, doesn't it? There we go. Just bring a little bit of a little bit of the pigment out. Just to give it a bit of a background. Make it look like it's night time. And that we're illuminating the world. A little bit at a time with that little delicate lamp post. And there we go. As easy as that. Grab yourselves a sketchbook. Print a paper. Biros, pencils, whatever you've got. You'll have something in the house. Back of a receipt. Have a go. Jump in. Try the link below. See if you can uh, draw yourself a nice lamppost. Thank you for joining. I'll see you on the next GeoSketcher. I've got a few other little things in uh, in the pipe work as well. Higher production value. Might take a little bit longer. But I hope you're enjoying this series. And I hope you've had a go. If you've had a go, go and post your creations on Facebook social media, wherever you like to post things. Tag it as a GeoSketch. Let me know. I want to see your artwork. But even if you don't want to share it with me, share it with someone. Share what you've made. Have a wonderful week. Keep working. Keep being creative. I'll see you next time.